garden friends. I wanted to share with you our website that we're using this week to do research on our local waterway. So on your device, you're going to go to this web address. So it's https colon forward slash forward slash mywaterway.epa.gov. And when you type that in and hit the enter key, this is what you're going to see. This is the United States Environmental Protection Agency's website, and they have a really cool feature that we get to use to, about our watershed. It's called How's My Waterway. So what you're going to do is you're going to click in this box here under the words Let get, Let's Get Started, and you're going to type in our school address. And then after you've typed in the school address, you're going to go over here and you're going to push this blue go button. And what that will do is it'll take you to this page where you can see a map of our watershed boundaries and all of the different creeks and rivers in our watershed. So if you look at the map, the outside green dashed line is the, um, actually maybe it's gray. I don't know if that's green or gray. Gray, I guess. The gray dashed line along the border shows you the boundaries of our watershed. And then the, uh, the all of these squiggly lines are the different waterways in our watershed. And they're different colors because the EPA tells us the conditions of them. So the green ones right over here, those are in good condition, but the red ones are impaired. And if we're not sure what that means, it'll tell us more information. So one of your um, assignments was to find out the name of our watershed. So right here, if you look at, this shows the school address. And then here it tells you the name of our watershed. We're in the Upper Laguna de Santa Rosa watershed. And then if you scroll down here, you can see that our Laguna de Santa Rosa connects with the Russian River. And if you'd like to click on either of these, you can find out more about the quality of the water and maybe find out why are some of these red? I wonder what happened. So if we look at this one that's red, that's the Russian River um, Laguna, main stem of the Laguna de Santa Rosa, the drinking water condition is considered good, but the aquatic life and the fish and shellfish consumption and the recreation are all impaired. Impaired means damaged. And here it can tell you, it gives you the reasons of why it's impaired. So they've found bacteria or other microbes in the water. There's low oxygen in the water. There's mercury, nitrogen or phosphorus, sediment, which is usually dirt and minerals, and the temperature of the water. And you can open the report if you wanna get really detailed. Um, in poking around and learning about this watershed. On the map, you can zoom in a little bit. And I wonder if you can find where our, um, the blue here is where the school is, but maybe you can also, if you wanted to, you could enter your address up here, or you could enter your friend's address and just see how our watershed connects. So you can see if I zoom in really close, there we go, it's labeled Laguna de Santa Rosa. And we know here's our school, here's the park, and then here, right over here is where um, we usually do our walks, right? Um, on the Laguna, right back in this area. So I just wanted to kind of walk you through using this website and learning about the watershed. 
Remember that your one of your assignments was to write down the name of your watershed and then some other things to consider. And you can either write these in your notebook um, if you want to take uh, write down ideas or you can draw pictures um, or you can go to Flipgrid and you can answer these questions in a Flipgrid video. So um, I'd like you to try and draw a picture of the watershed in your notebook. And then let's see, I'm looking at my instructions so that I don't uh, add questions. So I'm curious what the watershed map looks like to you. What do you notice and what do you wonder about the watershed? All grades, I would like you to write down the name of one river or stream in the watershed. And so you can, you should be able to figure that out by zooming in real closely and finding a creek name. And then for my fourth and fifth graders, I thought it would be really cool for you to see if you can figure out the approximate land area of the watershed. Now, if you look at the map, it gives you a scale right here. And so this is, that looks to me about like an inch is four miles. And so if you sort of approximate, here's one inch, two inches, three inches, see if you can figure out how big that watershed is. And again, jot your ideas down in your notebook or share it on Flipgrid. All right, thanks so much, garden friends. Enjoy learning about the watershed this week.